Here is news. And haven't we come a long way just in the past few years? I mean, huh? I've only been here a year and a half, and the excitement of this city is unbelievable. With the World Series, the Jacobs Field, uh, our Indians going to the World Series, the opening of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, and then, of course, today, the Great Lake Science Museum. Uh, a few years we're, make a big difference. Macy, we're a destination city. Ten years ago, there were many people who thought none of this was possible, and it's all come to fruition with the work of a lot of people. And as I said earlier today, I wish my grandparents could have seen this because they were among the immigrants who lived and made these neighborhoods what they are today. They were among the people who built this city. And if so all of blame. those people could be here tonight, they just wouldn't believe it. If you could just see the crowds, uh, the, the looks on their faces, a lot of pride tonight in the city of Cleveland. And, uh, and I, I know that pride must have been there all those years, but it was buried deep, deep, deep inside somewhere. And, and they've definitely come around, a quarter of a million people out here tonight to see this. and. Uh, I'm sure they're quite proud. And, and this is just the beginning. I think Mayor White said it best today when he said this weekend is really the jumping off point, the beginning of a whole new era for the city of Cleveland. We are a destination city. People know about Cleveland. We're all yeah. proud to be here. I know I am. That's something we... This is only heavy to make fun of Sometimes words don't are inadequate and when you see no, some I'm of those oh yeah. rain we had clouds and the weather was let me put it this way refreshingly cool for a july evening i'm trying to put the best positive spin i can on this let's roll some videotape right now because i want to get into some of the highlights of the show we had we're going to first go with the parade of boats and the news channel 5 parade of boats took place about well, 45 minutes ago roy weisinger was on our news channel 5 boat along with jackie mclean and and Michael Satoni on the Good Times Parade. It's going to be coming up in just a couple of seconds or so. The parade marshal was Bob Hope, Cleveland's very own Bob Hope. Came back to town. He's 94 years young, I think somebody told me just a short time ago. And Governor George Voinovich was also on that. No, they were on a boat much bigger than that. They were here uh, to start the parade of boats about an hour and a half ago. 75 boats in all took part. I think this is the biggest parade we've had yet. How convenient. And everything in between. Is that uh, Nautica or is that the Good Time 3? I believe that's the new Channel 5 Good Time 3 coming up right there. And boy, did we have a crowd on both sides of the Cuyahoga River. I'm not sure if I'm the world's best estimator when it comes to crowd size, but those people on top of the uh, new Channel 5 Good Time 3 boat are probably tired of waving after a while because of the two or 300,000. Heck, let's go all the way up to a half a million. This is TV. <laughs> We're trying to guess accurately as much as we can about the size of the crowd. The fact is, folks, We've got people there on the east side of the Cuyahoga still here, people here on the west bank of the Cuyahoga, people up there on the Detroit Superior Bridge just lined up like crazy, and people all scattered throughout the flat. I bet you by it's all over when we have the official police estimate we'll be pushing 500,000 people tonight alone. The parade of boats certainly wasn't the only thing that happened. We also had, let me put it this way, a parade of bridges, cities. Cleveland is the city of bridges, and boy, did we have a light show there. Some more videotape for you, because... Uh, Shortly before the parade of boats started, we saw some spectacular lighting displays going on with the bridges. That's the Jackknife Bridge, one of the two giant Jackknife Bridges. Can you believe that color? A wonderful array of blues and purples. The uh, Turntable Bridge, the Carter Road Bridge, the Main Avenue Bridge, that's the big Conrail Bridge there. That has a different, distinct type of lighting, as they all do. All of them are different from one another, and it makes it truly an interesting spot to see. Now, these bridges are going to be lighted 365 days a year. Cleveland has a, a great stellar attraction in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame and in the Science Museum. And now the bridges. This is going to set the city apart as much as anything I've ever seen before. Why? Well, let me give you a couple of reasons. Okay, we're here. This city is just starting to take off. Joe Paganakis has been here all evening. 